Well, what's up y'all? It's your girl, Dr. Nina, and I hope you're doing well. Now look, you know over here, we don't care about aging. We just want to do it well. And I feel like age has brought about a lot of wisdom and experience for me, which is why I'm able to share so freely with you all. Just like my mother did for me. That lady is in her 70s and she not only looks great, but she feels good. But she did a lot in her life on a budget that really added up to her feeling her best right now. And she passed that game on to me and my sister. So, you know, today we gonna talk about my top 11 ways to look younger while broke AF. And this ain't just about being broke, it's about working on a budget, right? About keeping it right and tight while being smart with your coins. And I also wanna hear from y'all, what are some of the things that you're doing right now in order to stay looking more youthful? And what are you working on? And while you're at it, go ahead and let me know some of the ideas that you have for me for future videos, cause I need to hear from y'all, okay? All items that I mentioned will be down in the description. Let's get into it. For any age, it's important for us to get our bra sizes right and to also watch our clothing. Gravity is happening to us all, sis, and these busts, they come in all looks, shapes, and sizes. Now, while we can slow down a little bit of the sagginess with exercise and diet, a lot of times our lifestyle, as well as having children and other things, can cause us to have a little bit of difference when it comes to our chest. I had a breast reduction young, 19 years old to be exact, because I had 35 ages, baby. I learned the value of good bras, but them things was expensive. But research shows that more than 80% of all women are wearing the wrong bra size. The trick is getting sized at bra shops or lingerie shops, but bridal shops are usually more precise. And it helps to make sure that you're wearing the correct style and shape for your bust size. This helps with coverage, support, and the lift. You ever seen those bulges that come with two tight undergarments and there's spillage in the back that seems to appear when you put your bra on? Probably the wrong size. Down below, I've linked some of the bra brands that I like the most that have been the most inexpensive that I found over the years of that work. And while we're talking about our clothing, don't be afraid of color. While you might like black and white, color adds in pizzazz and it helps us to look and feel more alive. Ease in with those pastels and lighter tones that look good on your skin if you're afraid of too much color. And don't try wearing color from head to toe at first. Maybe get a piece here or a piece there and color block. And shopping at places like Ross, Burlington, and Marshalls make it easy to find shirts, pants, skirts, and dresses for the low. I had to learn to make sure that I'm carrying my skincare down and treating my chest. Of course, general steps to skincare include cleanse, exfoliate, physical or chemical, weekly masks, tone, add serums to address concerns like retinols, alpha hydroxy acids, and moisturize and sun protect. Many of us still forget to make the top match the bottom. Mm -hmm. I learned that the skincare that you do to your face should carry down to your neck and decolletage. And we have to take time to moisturize and lock in moisture in our body. So many people take so much time on their face only that when you look down at their hands, feet, and other areas, it don't even look like it match. And this is why I take time to focus on this neck and also take time to exfoliate my knees, my elbows, and down to my feet. And this can be done by investing in small items that serve as daily reminders. Y'all have seen me with things like my foot scrubber, hand exfoliators, as well as my foot tub. These all help with nourishing areas other than your face and keep them matching. And I've linked some of my cheapy favorites for you below. I had to learn the importance of working out, yes, but also lifting weights. And how many of us are still acting hard-headed? You've been saying for years, you know, I'm gonna throw some weights in here, still doing the same cardio you did in seventh grade. Uh-uh, I'm calling you out. Exercise increases blood flow, moving oxygen and other vital nutrients through our body. And that gives a more youthful appearance. But adding them weights, this is what you call a flip. When I was losing that 100 pounds, I learned that lifting weights helped me to tighten and tone. And now I didn't end up looking like the Hulk. My body looks and feels more youthful, but it also has a smoother look to it. And I'm about to be 40. And since it's moving so many nutrients through your body, it's also gonna help the most vital of those organs, your skin. You not only look younger, but you feel younger. It's a two for one special. And easing in with five or 10 pounds a couple times a week, that'll do the trick. Pay attention to what your skin needs and stop doing stuff just to do it. This includes creating a maintenance routine that makes sense. Don't know where to start with that? I have a checklist that I've created down below for you and it's linked for you to try out. But take care of your hands, feet, elbows, and knees. I do get my nails and toes done about once a month, but I also do some upkeep at home. And while it might seem expensive at first, going to a dermatologist and or an esthetician early on in your skincare routine can help you find more targeted items which will save you more money in the future so you're not just buying any 
anything. You want to exfoliate, moisturize, take care of your teeth with your life, make time for your hair and hair removal if you want to. Also maintain relationships that actually give you joy. Make your self-care fit for you, but don't do a lot of stuff just because it's trendy and somebody told you you needed it. Yes, there's things I try, but not everything works best for me. I've not only added in items that help me to be my best, but also add to my overall day. And that includes Peak, who is bringing us today's video. Peak supplements and teas naturally unlock radiant health and authentic beauty from within. They believe in the transformation of skin from the inside out. And their Radiant Skin Duo is like a facial and a drink. Sun Goddess Matcha and BT Fountain Beauty Electrolytes are skincare powerhouses. They combine powerful plant extracts and science-backed ingredients into two delicious daily drinks for brighter and more radiant skin. I am always concerned with hyperpigmentation, skin elasticity, and skin texture. And this duo helps with that. I love that the Sun Goddess Matcha Matcha has powerful green tea antioxidants to help brighten and firm the skin. And y'all know I love my chlorophyll, which helps to clarify and detoxify skin. On the other hand, the BT Fountain has hyaluronic acid to boost moisture. I see a lot of improvement to my skin as it looks firm and feels smoother. I have a warm cup of the matcha in the morning and some of the BT Fountain later in the day to boost hydration. They're easy to make with zero prep and taste refreshing. For a limited time, get 15% off plus free shipping for life on Peak's Radiant Skin Duo. You also get a complimentary starter kit with beaker and frother when you start your new ritual. It was so very important for me to find ways to cut grime from my skin. I got a question for you. When was the last time you washed the makeup brushes? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Dirty brushes and sponges deposit bacteria onto our skin causing breakouts. And dirty utensils also add to old looking makeup. That's why when you use an old dirty brush, your makeup don't look or set like you want it to. And products are more likely to set into fine lines and wrinkles when we're using dirty utensils. So we gotta pick a struggle, okay? It's okay to have the wrinkles, but we can't be having a whole lot of acne on top of it like we so a trick for me is to just use a few brushes and try to wash them weekly. I use a little Dr. Bronner's bar soap or some Dawn dish soap to get all the oil and grime out. This way you can guarantee that your skin is not redepositing bacteria and causing you headaches and you'll have a fresher face. Thank me later. It's important to learn to treat our hair with respect even if you feel like you don't like it. Hear me out. Our hair deserves to be taken care of so that we feel more proud of it. Even when you wear units, braids, or bundles, the hair underneath needs love. I go to the salon quarterly only, four times a year but I've learned to work with my hair on my own. I get trims and even though I try hair colors with high and low lights I keep it healthy. At home I also invest in a lot of treatments and things that I can do in between those salon visits. I keep my hair moisturized, deep conditioned, and detangled. Otherwise I keep my braider who is also my family member on speed dial. Taking care of your hair will add to a more youthful look and even as we get older and it thins you can still maintain a lot of the hair and make sure that it stays as healthy as possible. In order to spice it up a little bit you might I want to try layers, color, or just a nice protective style. Overall, I like to work with what I have. I do have grays and I don't care, okay? I work with them and they still sitting right up in here with this cup. I've had to learn how to enhance rather than just covering. My mother started to urge me as I started to get into makeup to enhance rather than adding a whole face full of makeup all the time, which is nothing wrong with a good bee, honey, but you want to make sure that over time you have things to look forward to. If you put on everything right now while you're young or while you are where you are, you have nothing to advance to. I actually hated that, but I grew to understand. Don't get it twisted, I love some good makeup just like the next girl. But what I do now is allow for more days without makeup as well. This also adds to me feeling more comfy with my own face and I start to remember it for something that I have to dress it up to be. The more comfortable you are with your skin, the more comfortable you get with even the aging process. So I'm able to see my face every day for what it really is. And if you question just makeup application over Overall, I've always encouraged y'all take classes, do different things. I'll actually link below my makeup artist who's amazing. She does different courses and helps you to enhance how you look, how you feel, because we want to play up on that greatness you already have. It's important to work on hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and age spots. For some of us, this is through sensitive skin and acne scars. Beyond going to a dermatologist and or esthetician, it's important to be able to address what's happening with your specific skin. This is how you can treat dark spots as soon as they pop up. Retinol serums and other dark spot correctors could definitely work wonders. Some do professional chemical peels and laser removal options as well. I've linked some of my favorite scar serums and scar items for you down below. 
I love hanging out with both older and younger people. I like to be around a mixture of people so that I can appreciate my current age. I'm also able to look forward to where I'm headed, where I've been, and also where I want to avoid going. When I hang out with young people, not only do I feel youthful, but I also feel like I can offer them something. Think about the life experiences I have and be able to offer them something as they're growing, but not that I'm mothering and sonning and daughtering them. No, not at all. But also I can hear from them on some of the current struggles and things that they're encountering that were different from when I was younger. And it just feels so good to be around that because it keeps you hearing their perspective and also appreciating that there's a younger generation coming about that is learning differently and doing things another way. And when I'm with older people, I feel like my life is put into perspective. I learned that I'm not that old, like my goodness. <laughs> a lot of my friendships span from 20s to late you know, 70s. And me and my mom are like, best friends and she's in her mid 70s and I feel like just hearing some of those experiences some of the things that they live the lives that they've lived marriages both failed and positive but also the various things that they encounter with friendships with life with career with so many other things including spirituality it helps to put life into perspective it helps me to see what I can look forward to and also some of the things I might not want to get into as I'm aging and when you're always around one group over the the other you sometimes miss that nuance of not only being older but also being younger don't be afraid of fat and antioxidant rich foods it's confusing because when we were young we were told that fats were bad i mean any kind of fat but they're amazing for you much like collagen supplements in fact researchers have found that foods like salmon avocados leafy greens nuts and more they can protect and even restore skin suppleness and those leafy greens and antioxidant rich foods can lead to less damage and also healthy glowing skin so i try to eat most of those things daily some things i want you to keep doing because i know you're already doing them but protecting your skin with sunscreen of at least a 30 SPF, making those annual doctor's appointments, okay? A lot of times that's the only way that we find out that we are vitamin deficient because we go to a lab and we figure out what our blood tests are saying about us and also figuring out other things like STIs and other problems that could be going on that can limit our life. And the same thing goes for things like your dental appointments. When you start to slack on that, so does your, your body and your face. Sleep more, we all know this. Wherever you are, try to add an hour, okay? I'm not gonna tell you to go ahead and sleep seven and eight hours. Yeah, we know that's great, but not all of us have that luxury. And so try to add an hour, try to go to bed a little bit earlier, try to treat yourself and make sure that you're sleeping as much as you possibly can so your skin and your body can restore itself. And finally, make sure you're embracing your age. There is nothing wrong with getting older. In fact, you are blessed to age. Okay, it brings about so much about you. It helps you to learn, develop and grow, develop your personality even more. And it helps you to make connections that you didn't make the year before. Y'all, not everybody is blessed to age. So we have to be very grateful that we are and do it the best that we can. Now, I hope today's video has been very beneficial for you and you've learned a lot about not anti-aging, okay, but being even more youthful with the age that we have. Make sure that you comment, share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching y'all. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace.